Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Filament liftoff right now on the incoming limb, still in progress. Today we've got a look at the sun, solar wind, seismic activity, tropical storms, space weather in Sudan, and the auroral zone relationship to Earth's magnetic field. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and most of the day was quiet, still not much flaring, mild coronal hole dark patch on the north, but at the very end of the sequence here, you'll see a pop near center disk and we'll zoom in and back out watching it. Did you see it? Small field break in coronal expansion means we almost certainly have another small CME heading towards the Earth. I'll be diagnosing that one today when coronagraphs update. Meanwhile, we already had a small CME en route, didn't we? Folks, that is one of the weirdest signatures of a solar wind interplanetary shockwave I have ever seen. Instead, it looks like the most pure phi angle flip I've ever seen. Blue line shifts and stays there. Not much in the way of density or plasma speed changes and no geomagnetic disruptions as of yet. We'll keep an eye on it today. So let's head to seismicity, where yesterday we reported the 6.2 south of Australia and then a few hours later, another one struck a bit east, south of New Zealand. The run of magnitude 6 events continues. We discussed this recently as well, tropical development in the East Pacific, and while we still advise seismic watch for the Americas over the next month, the storms themselves are organizing. First one will keep heading west and skirt south of Hawaii, but we've got eyes open on the development of the other two regions. This is cloud top mapping from Goes West here. You see the freight train line of storms building and charging to the west. When they start bending north, we'll know the major patterns are getting dangerous. Solid study up next on the power grids of Sudan. They are as vulnerable as any other, but this team also noted that the rare PC5 pulsations are the trigger for mid and low latitude effects that end up being significant. May go into those pulsations in a video later. Last but not least, shift in auroral zone based on a shift in the magnetic field. We already know it's been shifting, and we've had auroral anomalies to report for 27 months in a row. Don't think that is likely to change. In fact, even before reading this paper, I'm pretty sure most of us were pretty sure it's going to get worse. Pre-order is only open for four more days for the new book, then it'll be at least a year till we order more. All pre-orders of the new book come signed, and we'll send a PDF copy as well when the book ships out. At Observer Ranch, homesteading camp this week, tactical training this weekend. Would love to get a few more signed up for that. I'll be there on August 1st for sure. Then, plenty more coming to the ranch the rest of the year, including pole shift conferences, Founders Weekend with Dr. Dunning in September, the special October events, check those out. Book your trip, ObserverRanch.com. Book pre-order link below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.